Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, some of my favorite powders. Uh, they are all face powders, and um, I do have a favorite body powder over there. Hopefully I remember to put that in this video. Um, but some are shimmery, some are matte, and looks like most of them are loose. And meteorites, I tend to categorize them more as a loose powder, even though they're not technically loose because they're in ball form. And, you know, loose powders fly all over the place and balls don't unless you get really crazy with your brush. And balls can fly. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to get started, and I'm going to talk about um, my favorite meteorites, and these are the, I think it's the Pearl Denisias from the Christmas collection, and I love the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, Guerlain really knows how to make a girl's heart beat faster with the packaging, that's all I have to say about it. And then you've got the little puff here. And you guys know what these look like. I've made a lot of videos about them. But they smell great. They smell like violets. Oh, I just love the smell of meteorites. Um, but I love I love the finish that this gives my complexion. I can't talk today. And I love how it, it's luminous and it's translucent. And it gives a beautiful radiance to the skin. It's, it's gorgeous. Anytime I wear this, I get compliments. It's just so, so gorgeous. And just check it out. Ball dust. But it's so, it's a beautiful, beautiful powder. I love meteorites, but I think these are my favorite ones. They're really, really gorgeous. And the packaging, like I said, the packaging, you cannot... It's plastic, but it's really, really pretty. It's like a little snow globe. So we're going to set that baby right back up there. And I mean, I just love the frosted packaging. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to wipe you off because you have ball dust all over you. <laughs> and as far as pressed meteorites go, um, this is beautiful, beautiful compact, the beautiful packaging again. Um, this is in number two, Claire. And these are the pressed meteorites. These are designed for travel if you want to take it with you and take your little brush and you can dip it in and put it on your T-zone or any shiny areas on your face. It gives a beautiful, a beautiful glow. It's not shimmery like it is in the compact here, but it, it gives a glow. Um, it's not completely mattifying either. So, And then again, you have that beautiful violet smell whenever you open the compact. No matter where you're at, you have the smell of violets, and it's a very beautiful, beautiful smell. I love it. <clears throat> Product that I have to really rave about. This is brand new to me. I bought this last weekend. I was looking for a, um, a touch-up powder because I had the Chanel Compact, and that one made my under eyes look cakey. It re felt really dry on my skin. It was not comfortable at all. So I went and exchanged it for this, and I'm in love with this powder. This is the Dior. Um, Dior Skin Forever and Ever Control. And it's it's mattifying, but it's not a flat matte. It's a very, it's a very, um, I wouldn't say luminous. It's more of a forgiving matte, um, if you know what I mean. Um, I put on a La Mer powder in the morning. And then later on in the day, I touch up with this, and it, it still has that beautiful glow, but you don't look shiny. You, your face still looks looks um, radiant. And it's really great under the eyes. It's not drying. It does not look make your under, under eyes look cakey. And being that it's a loose powder, it doesn't fly everywhere. I mean, you've got... Dior came up with this little... Thing underneath the lid that actually keeps the powder in so you can I'm going to show you you can turn it upside down and there's nothing coming out so it's it's awesome for for travel and I just use a little brush that comes with this and it it's beautiful it gets right under my eyes and everywhere I need it to go it's a beautiful beautiful powder I love this I think I will probably be buying this 
when I run out again because I'm in love with it. I want to talk about shimmery powders. Let's talk about shimmery powders. Okay, so this is a Laura Mercier Candlelight, and this is actually a highlighter. And you can still get this. I've had this one for probably four years. I love, love, love this powder. It's so pretty. If I can get this baby open for you, I will show you how gorgeous this powder is. Come on, baby, open up. Okay, are you ready? This is beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. It just shimmers for days. It's so beautiful. Um, I've heard that you can kind of use this as eyeshadow, but if you do, I would use some Fix Plus. But that would be a gorgeous eyeshadow. There it is on my hand. It's so beautiful. I love shimmers, guys. It's just so beautiful. But if you want to highlight with it, of course, you take your brush and you put a little bit of this into the lid and then you take your brush and swirl it around in the lid and then shake your brush off. And then you apply to your cheekbones, apply to your de decollete, apply to the bridge of your nose. Um, I would be very light-handed with it because it is very, very shimmery. It's very beautiful, though. So gorgeous. I love this powder. It's it's beautiful. They also have um, had one when I bought this. It was in Starlight, and it was more of a golden color. So, but I picked this one up because um, I think this one went with my skin tone a little better. And then I'm going to talk about the Lancome Absolute Powder, and this is an Absolute Peche. I love the packaging. I mean, look at this packaging. Isn't it beautiful? You got a little um, a gold on top. You know I love gold. I'm in love with gold packaging. Put you out there for a second. And then you up here. So beautiful. This is a beautiful powder. This is more, um, probably more of a highlighter than a setting or finishing powder. It would definitely be more of a highlighter. More subtle than the Laura Mercier, but definitely more of a highlighter. But it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. There are two colors in this range, in this powder, that are shimmery. One is golden, and it's the um, Absolute Peche are shimmery. <clears throat> and the other, I think, four powders in this range are matte, so... Beautiful, finely milled, gorgeous powder. Okay. The star of the show, guys, is this La Mer powder. I am in love, in love, love, love with this powder right here. I am so much in love with it that I've ordered a backup. Yes, I did. I went today, went to Nordstrom, and I ordered a backup of this powder. So, I cannot live without this. This is a beautiful powder. It's finely milled. It's just it's the most finely milled powder that you could ask for. I mean, it's just you cannot make it cake up. You cannot make it cake up. You cannot use too much of it. And it's beautiful. It has this beautiful luminosity to it. It's not it's not really um glittery or anything, but it has this it has this very beautiful just gorgeous luminosity to it God, look I mean it's just it's beautiful it's gorgeous and it's a I use it as a setting powder I do um, I apply my foundation I apply my concealer and I put this all over my face and it it sets in with the foundation it blends with it it melts with it 
and it all it all comes together so nicely and it's a beautiful beautiful effect it just it's so gorgeous it really is and I get compliments on my skin all the time right there on the bottom this is a beautiful beautiful powder I am in head over heels in love with this powder the backup coming I cannot live without it it's my HG HD powder. I love it. Oh, La Mer. So that is my little, um, let me put the pot back in here. That is my little video for the, um, my favorite powders. I am going to show you a shimmery body powder that I have as soon as I get a lid back on this. Put you back there, La Mer, and we are going to set you up here. I'm going to show this to you. This is the GC Couture, um, what is this, Decadent Dusting Powder. I don't think they sell this anymore. I've had this for years. Let's see if I can get the top of it off. Come on, baby, come off there. There we go. Here we go. All right. So, like, you got this beautiful puff, and you see the shimmers. It's gorgeous. I've had this for years, guys, and I'm in love with it. This is beautiful for your body, and this actually has real pearls in it. Isn't that beautiful? My favorite body powder. Definitely my favorite body powder. And it smells like a Juicy Couture, original Juicy Couture scent. Yeah, so in love, love, love with it. Love, love. And this tub is going to last forever. I mean, I'm going to have this. I'll probably be passing this down to my daughter or something. <laughs> yep, so that is... Um, I'm going to go right back there. Okay, so that's my little video of my favorite powders. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know down below if you have any questions. And I will see you later. Love you. Bye.